Uh, hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I thought I'd go over um, an interesting guru out there that uh, I like and less like. I don't hate him, but less like's a, a good word. Um, of course, we're talking about um, Tim Sykes, um, the penny stock guru. Um, and uh, I've gone through a lot of his product and I thought I'd do an honest, I don't want to say brutally honest review because it's not that bad. Um, and uh, I'll talk to you at the end, my thoughts on the price or whatever the current price is. Um, right now, uh, these products were, um, uh, how should we say, um, sent over from somebody who uh, bought this, wanted me to take a look and let him know what I thought of him. So I thought, well, while I'm at it, why don't I just tell the world? And um, what I thought was, I go through uh, some of the dif different DVD products. I think there's um, eight that I went through. I watched pretty well all of them, listened to them in the background. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so when you come to his site, I'm just under the store here. Um, the first two DVDs, Penny Stalking and Penny Stalking Part 2, are, um, it looks like his earlier product, um, when he started putting out the product, I believe in 09, 2009, so they're fairly old. He's a fairly young guy. Um, he comes off kind of angry, bitter, lots of profanity, um, and when you're paying for these kind of products, you think, I guess as an older person, you'd expect some professionalism. Um, it is a turn off to watch, to be brutally honest. Um, but once once you can rise above that, um, you can kind of appreciate the quality of, of what's in it. Um, and some of it is pretty not in like like intelligent, like really smart. But um, this is obviously somebody who has done well in the world of stock trading, specifically in penny stocks. Um, personally, I wouldn't play in them, but uh, I was more interested in the psychology, and the timing. I think alone outside that, the products are worth investigating in. Again, I'll talk about the price after all this. But we're just talking about the material itself at the beginning. This, uh, the first two, penny stocking and then part two, goes over the strategies, the different types of uh, charts out there, blah, blah, blah. Um, not bad. Um, and again, if you can rise above all the um, uh, profanity, I guess, it's just, he's just coming off pretty juvenile. <laughs> Don't want to say that, but that's the truth. Um, and then uh, the short stocking is really important because that is what the key is to his success. Um, personally, I've not seen any other product out there that really talks about shorting and the approach to it and the timing of it. Now, I can't say specifically if it works for all asset classes, but obviously he talks and bases his experience off of penny stocks, specifically um, specifically um, uh, penny stocks when it comes to them being manipulated and being, uh, you know, there's the fraud thing going on. Um, there was another product here, uh, the, the reading the SEC files. I'll tell you, this one was absolutely a gem. Uh, I think it's Michael Good did a good chunk of this um, DVD series, and this guy is a, a young guy, but he's a genius in a lot of ways. And, and it's basically what what he's doing. It's like forensic accounting, going through all these SEC filings and all these other different types of 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 say unsavory things to look for in terms of accounting practices and illegal that and then Tim Sykes goes one step beyond looking for the background on the CEOs and he's got a reason on yeah there's a stock that's being manipulated getting pumped and dumped by these crappy stock promoters I mentioned it in one of my other video um, this 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 reading the SEC files is was 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 really eye-opening I'll, I'll leave it at that um, and uh, to be honest, uh, I, I think between that and the short stalking in the first four 
DVD products, uh, Penny Stocking, Penny Stocking Part Two, and you know, but the short stocking and the, and the SEC filings are, are pretty good. The SEC filings, um, I don't think you can ever automate. There, there's no way. I mean, you may be able to kind of get a rough idea. Maybe with machine learning, you can do some kind of forensic accounting thing. Maybe I don't know, but I find it kind of interesting to look into. And again, for me, on the, the, this type of asset class specifically, uh, when it comes to uh, penny stock, I have no real interest in it. But again, I'm just learning it, wanting to learn it from the psychology part of Tim Sykes. And then we move into areas like Tim Fundamentals, uh, Tim Fundamentals Part Two. These two. Um, this one and this one, I'm trying to remember how it worked. Uh, I think he had a one-on-one -on -one lesson with a guy, and he goes on about basically going on about the, all the previous stuff in the first four DVDs, and that he's just kind of reinforcing it, and it's just like a one-on-one -on -one lesson with this guy. And um, to be honest, that's where it kind of falls apart, where you know all these products are out there. Um, but they're kind of like rehashing what we already know. Maybe it's just another way to reinforce what you learn. I don't know. Um, but there is a lot of um, uh, uh, repeat, repeat and rinse kind of uh, content in these other products. So there's that. There's Tim Raw, which is quite a lengthy seminar that he did, I think, in Vancouver. And... Uh, and then he did another bigger one. I don't know where that was. Maybe Vegas? I don't know. But there's three different, um, a one-on-one -on -one that he did. He did one in a larger, larger setting. I don't know how many people, but it was definitely much bigger than the other one, the third one, which is like five people. And he's just repeating what he's going on about. Um, the links are different from six hours, 12 hours. Um, but he's reinforcing it. But he adds some, some nuances of, um, you know, different reasons on why this chart and that chart works and, and this play and that play worked on, on his positions that he took on in terms of stock, penny stock. Um, the Tim Tactics, this one is an actual webinar. I think it's his first webinar from my understanding what he says. Um, that one, I think it's five, maybe six hours long. Um, and again, just, just going over the same thing. He goes over the charts, he goes over the technical um, indicators or technical um, yeah, technical indicators that he kind of likes. I'm not going to get into the details of it, but it, you know, it's simple stuff. Nothing earth shattering. He looks for certain things. And uh, it's interesting. I'll leave it at that. Um, the Tim Tactics, did I mention that? Yeah, that's the webinar as well. So overall, uh, it's not bad. I haven't looked at any of these uh, new products, newer products. Um, I don't know how they're any different than the previous because it's one strategy. Um, so that leaves me to believe, is it worth, um, last I heard it, six grand for a year? Um, is it worth the price? Uh, I would say no. Unless you have $6,000 burning in your pocket and you're wanting to trade penny stocks, can you make a lot of money? Probably. Can you make a lot of money in other asset classes? Probably. I don't see a lot of people um, actually teaching options. I know they're saying Lucci out there, but you know, let's face it: these these human trading gurus are are going to get these type of strategies are going to get slaughtered. Um, when you get Goldman Sachs and all the big banks hiring coding gurus, specifically in the areas that I'm looking at uh, now, Python and C++, these tactics are going to be of no use to you. If you're trading as a human. Um, you're going to go by the way of the dodo in the long run. So to spend that kind of money, um, I think, to be honest, if you're going to put money into education, you're probably better off to put edu money into educating yourself in the world of programming and software development. Now, what I can do is I'm going to show you two products that you can use for free where uh, Tim says that you cannot use automation for specific um penny stock. You can, uh, and I'm going to show you two products, one's free, uh, to do that. The only thing you will not be able to do is the SEC filings. But what do you care? Do you, I mean, you, you want to look for, if you are going to follow this strategy, um, you need to uh, kind of look for fraudulent uh, pump and dump scams, I guess. 
and going through the read, uh, reading the SE filings. Uh, you know, like I said, you can probably set something up through machine learning to, to look for it. Um, if you want to do it in an automated way, right now at this point, I don't see how it's possible. But all the other stuff I'll show you, you can definitely automate with these two programs. So I've already shown this um, before. Let me just uh, uh, go to my YouTube channel. Uh, okay, let me go to my YouTube channel. I'm up. Okay, so if you go to my YouTube channel, Quant Labs uh, Net. You will see a, if I type in guru, which is true, <laughs> um, this product here hey everybody, Brian here from Quant Labs. is a product on JSTOCK, okay? So I want you to watch that. This product will save you thousands of dollars. It's done in Java. Um, I've gone on about it. I'll let you watch the video. You can definitely set a price target on certain stocks and do all the technical analysis stuff that you can do with... Um, with Tim's stuff and whatever else you learn. So you can use that as a product. The other product that I've, uh, I've, I've talked about is XLQ. Uh, if you are familiar with uh, Excel, let's see if I can find it. Um, uh, yeah, you can probably find it here under my IQ feed playlist. Um, no, if not, yeah, all I have to do is go here. Yeah, this product right here. Um, Real-time and historical data tools for IQ feed. Um, I mentioned it at XLQ, but if you look up XQ, XLQ on my channel, we get tons and tons of uh, references on it. Um, and it's a great product uh, that will, uh, similar to the JSTOCK, um, and uh, that's free as well, and you can set up uh, watch lists, automate them, generate your own signals, and they won't do automation in terms of execution. You could. You could fully automate it. You can do the same thing with JSTOCK, uh, which will just generate signals as is using that software. Um, but if you have the programming skills, you can definitely automate the trading component of it. I don't see why you, you should, should not be able to do that. So knowing what I know, and my experience and, and all the people that follow me now, I'm amazed at the numbers so far. But I do think um, if you are new to the world of trading, wanting to learn, uh, I'm not saying don't get Tim Sykes stuff uh, or anybody else's. Um, I do think it's good, but is it worth the money? You could, Like I said, you could spend it better elsewhere. If you need a book on trading, um, the one book that I've always loved is, uh, if you just type in Amazon uh, Technical Analysis, this book is amazing. It's old school. Um, I wouldn't be surprised it's still number one. I think this is it. From John, John Murphy. Yeah, this is it. It's always number one. You can see the number of reviews. People love this book. 185 books and it's getting four and a half stars. 73% say it's uh, uh, five star. It, it is a good book. Uh, that will introduce all aspects of technical analysis and all the stuff that you get access to from these indicators and these, these, these um, technical analysis, whatnot, you can easily apply into both JSTOCK and um, XLQ. So you're better off to set up and invest your time in that and you can also no longer need to stay in the world of penny stock. You can move into anything you want, any asset. If Forex, you could do equity, stocks, commodity futures, options, you name it. All, like technical analysis is, is good uh, for this. Now, that's the problem with Tim Sykes. It's just one strategy, human based. This will be. It's probably obsolete, maybe already, if you're following some kind of alert system he looks at. Because I think Tom Sosnov, the guy that started Thinkorswim, said it exactly. This um, set of, like, this service, I guess from Tim Sykes, has a very limited uh, amount of people because you have to worry about borrowing sh shares, you have to worry about shorting it. And the two things that's very high risk here is can you get enough shares to short if he puts an alert out or his fans 
put you know get in on the opportunity and uh, is there enough short shorts stocks to short number two is when the squeeze comes on on the short squeeze when everyone wants to cover uh, what happens then you could still lose so a pretty high risk maneuver um, when you can go after be more innovative in what you build as a straight trading idea not copy people I, I stress that wholeheartedly you can I stress that more than anything you want to use your own trading ideas your own strategies that you're not going to copy somebody else or you can do that but twist it in a way so you don't have to follow this methodology and exclusively in stocks or sorry in penny stocks it's just it's high risk it's just I think more and more people pile into it the less and less effective it will be I would imagine um, but the knowledge is worth picking up in terms of the psychology approach and if he spins it in a more of that, I think, uh, and, and just branch more out into uh, in options, let's say, or Forex, and, and taking this psychology approach and applying to those asset classes, and you're paying six grand. I, you know, I would definitely pay that every year because it's worth joining if if I had the cash. But if you're like me and you're tight on cash, you know, get. Uh, Put it into the investment in a, in a, in a programming course because that will take you a lot farther. Maybe get some software um, as well. But you don't need to in this day and age. Yeah, I mean, like I'm I'm now like thinking, crap. Python seems to be able to do it. And it's free. Uh, same with C plus uh, plus, Java, even all these languages you can use. But at the end of the day, languages doesn't really matter. What matters is the community and how effective uh, your trading ideas. I think those, those are the priorities, depending upon your approach and your goals. But in, in essence, these, these human fossils, uh, these caveman uh, gurus like Tim Sykes, uh, Anton Krell's another one, um, they're just not worth the money, especially if you're going to stay trading as a human because you're going to get not wiped out. You're just going to have machines now coming in and taking those opportunities from you okay so be very careful if you got money to burn go for it if you don't uh, put it into something to automate your trading and, and, and get better books like this one for how much is it 60 bucks versus that's one percent one percent of what Tim Sykes charges hopefully this will help you out and uh, I'll talk to you soon over and out